think about uh, your laundry box, laundry bag. So before you go to the, uh, the laundry, so you have the large bag, right? Most of the, the dormitory or the room, even the, my house has a big the bag and put all together. My son, my daughter, my wife, and the whole family, the laundry, the clothes is inside. It's a unnormalized. Okay? It's not organized. So everything inside, unnormalized. Oh. Is there any the redundant or not? A lot. A lot of redundant information. We don't consider the, any the uh, guideline, we don't consider any other thing, functional dependency, just put together that. If we remove certain part of the redundant, that is called the first normalization form. So remove something, the redundancy. If you remove more, second normalization. If you remove more and more, third normalization form. Which means, run the remark, so then the, you take out Really dirty one, okay, my son, okay. Then take out my daughters and uh, my wife. Then the finally almost organized, okay. Then another one, BCN. Then there are more, but the rule will cover up to the BCN. Then it looks like, in other words, we don't discuss yet if your database is the BCN. It's automatically first normal form, second normal form, third normal form. If your database is in the third normal form, it's automatically second normal form, first normal form, but not BCN. Okay? This is a relationship. On good news, if you believe that you are a normal person, normal means IQ 60. 70? But this average IQ. I think surprisingly around 100 is uh, normal, right? No? It's uh, higher than that? I don't want to brag myself. So when I test uh, my IQ, the, it is the middle school, it's really high. You know why? At that time, I tried to answer all of that. Regardless of the correctness, I had to try to answer all of that. In case the answer all of that in the IQ later, I heard that. So it's a really high score. It doesn't matter how many correct or whether how many incorrect. So if you answer all of that, the question, so it's usually the higher than 140. So, so I got the higher than 140. Then the people always believe uh, I'm smart, but I'm not that smart. <laughs> so. So later I tested again, it's much lower. So in the, the university college life I did. But the, uh, if you believe you are a nomad, okay, just a nomad, whatever the design you did, that's automatically third nomad form. Think about the laundry. So you the, finished all the laundry job and uh, if you have the uh, the clean, the clothes for your the dad, mom, your brother, sibling. I'm not sure whether you can the, take care of your siblings, the stuff. But if you have, what's the next step? Mostly they will, you will separate by the person, right? Somebody teach such a thing? No. Intuitively we know that we'd like to group by the similar thing. That is a third normal form. So think about uh, your programming project. Okay. Have you ever used the database in your programming? Some of the, I heard that uh, uh, the web application used the database like the customer table and the transaction table. What else? Item table. You can create the, such a the table easily. Did you consider any the database design tool? No, just create a table, right? How? Because the very basic organization up to the third normal form. So, but most of case, third normal form is enough. 
95% in the real database system. The normal form is the enum. Then plus B, C, N, F is the, you know the C, the code, Dr. E, F code. And actually Dr. E, F code is a very well-known scholar, the professor, not professor, researcher in conceptual modeling. It's just a general conceptual modeling. It's not only for the database. So conceptual modeling is uh, the kind of the father and father of object-oriented programming and so on. So such a, then the, it will be eventually UML modeling and the ontology and so he and the, his friend, colleague, the Bush, Bush could found something interesting, the uh, redundant information from the third number form. We'd like to get rid of the such a number form system called the BCNF. BCNF 99% is pretty much enough for the real database project. Okay, which means it's very easy. But uh, this, the total 5% of the case caused a huge problem. So for example, I designed the database and I was not serious, so I just open launched the system. It works very well for a while, like one or two years. Later, three years, four years, your system is slow to search the data because it's not well organized. Your, si your si size of your data is uh, bigger and bigger. System performance will be slow and slow. It's too late sometimes to separate your the database. Why? There are a lot of application is running based on the previous database design. It's very hard because of that. Before you start uh, your system, you need to check the normalization. There are more. <coughs> Fourth NF, fifth NF, something special case. This is a very layer, very specialized case, like the multi-value one and so on. So in case you need, you can check the, this one. So today we are going to see the, this. It's not very complicated. Within a minute, I will explain everything. So. Even though you didn't pay attention to so far, at least one minute, next one minute, the, you need to pay attention to for your final exam or something. First normal form is for attribute. Do you remember the relational modeling? Attribute should be atomic. It doesn't allow in the relational model multivalue. No. It doesn't allow composite, right? It doesn't allow nested, okay? Only single value, do you remember? So, you can check the first normal form means single attribute. No redundant for the attribute. So that is the first normal form. Second normal form, only key dependent, okay? Whole key dependency. You have seen the one example is the social security number plus the name can determine something, right? But we don't need such a thing. So whole key dependency, only key determine non-prime attribute, okay? So that is the second normal form. Third normal form, you remember A determine B, B determine C. Transitive. So actually transitive is okay. A social security number determine all the other. But in principle, there is another dependency. Right, B to C is another dependency, another meaning. So we do not allow such a transitive, which means separate. So that is transitive. B, C, and F is we need to take a look at the real example. Idea is A determine B, A, B determine C. So A, B is the primary key, okay? It's a primary key, composite primary key, A and B. Determine C. C determine B. Is it transitive or not? <clears throat> A, B determine C, C determine B. Yes, it's a transitive. It's a third normal form. However, it's okay, the third normal form, but C determine B. A, B determine C, C determine B. They determine each other. So if you do not allow this, I know. This is not, it looks like the transitive, but it's not transitive. Why? 
So B is a part of the prime of C. So it's a determine each other. Right? So A, B determine C, C determine B. It's a determine each other, which means it's not transitive. Transitive means move to the new one. But it's not new one. Right? So at that time, third normal form is not transitive. It's okay. However, B, C, and F is still transitive. Two meaning. So we take out. So that is a B, C, and F. So that's the older thing you need to know from the, this uh, lecture. But another problem is how to make the higher normalizer transform. How? I already explained the last time, last class. Okay. So very simple. It's a redundant. So we remove redundancy. Separate. How to remove the redundancy? Separation. Separation. The only solution is segmentation. Segment means split into two or three. Just a split. Okay? That's the only solution. Whenever you encounter normalization problem, segment. Segment. Separate, separate, create a new table. That's it. That's the idea of overview, overall of the normalization. Let's quickly take a look at that. So, normalization means decomposing means segmentation. Okay, solution. Decomposing what? Unsatisfactory. Unsatisfactory means what? Redundant. In case of redundant, we need to buy breaking up, separate. Bring, breaking up their attribute in the smaller relation. It's called the normalization. Okay, so normal form is the using, then how can we decide the normal form? Using key and functional dependency. So functional dependency is the key part of the normalization. Okay, I will explain the denormalization later. <coughs> denormalization is also very important to make your database design faster and faster. So key and super key we already discussed. We don't need the super key, okay? Instead the minimal super key, that is a key. Key is the include the primary key and the candidate that those attributes are called prime attribute. So most important part is so which one is the prime attribute? The other will be non-prime attribute. So you should uh, recognize, decide which one is a prime attribute and which one is the non-prime attribute. Okay, first normal form. No composite. Like the address, just the address, not tree structure. And the multi-valued one, number of colors. Do you remember when we convert ER diagram to the relational schema diagram, this will be like the, this one. So many to many and plus we create the one table for the multi-valued one. Do you remember this one? So why? Nobody asks a question. Why we cannot keep the attribute for the multi-value? Because relational database model does not allow multi-value, only atomic, single value. So no multi-value. And nested definitely, obviously, it cannot be. Nested means test table inside a table, attribute inside an attribute, which is not allowed. However, that's common in object-oriented concept. In the object-oriented concept, you can use variable as an object. String is a what? Class. Then you can instantiate the class, the string. You can use the string as a variable for other. Inside, inside. So it's not a big problem. It's not just a normal in object-oriented concept, but relational model does not allow. Okay, that's a huge difference. So, it's allowed. No composite, no multi-value, no nested, which means single value attribute only. A, is it first normal form or not? 
The fact that it is the first normal form or not. Either yes or no. Yes? Key locations is multi-value. As please remind our basic database the model. So the location is multi-value. Multi-value is not allowed. What about the D? It's also multi-value. So it's not the first normal form. Uh, how can we make the first normal form? The only solution is segmentation. Separate. Separate what? The location. Okay? So we can separate. Here it's not separated. In this case, what about the, this one? Department number plus the location is the primary key. This is another solution to make it first normal form. But this is not useful. Why? We don't know. Inside there is a we don't know. So instead we can make the D location table, then <coughs> upper key. We can the create the foreign key. So that is the first normal form. Okay. What about this? Employee on the project, project attribute has the P number and hours, which means nested. Nested attribute. You see, first normal form? No, first normal form does not allow such a thing. Solution? Decomposition. So we can separate. Employee on the bar project one, employee on the bar project two. Okay, so that is the first normal form. Second normal form? What is the second normal form? Only key. Key determine non key. Okay? Prime attribute determine non prime attribute. Whole key dependency. So let's take a look at the example of the, this one. The A. SSN P number is the primary key, which means it will be prime attribute. And the other hours, E name, P name, P location are non-prime attribute. Question, is it the first normal form or not? Yes, because it's a all single value. First normal form, check the attribute. Then question, is it second normal form or not? What is the second normal form? Whole key dependency. Only key dependency. Check. No. Every non-key, non-prime attribute. Hours. Hours is determined by what? SSN plus P number. It's a whole key dependency. It's okay. What about the E name? E name determined by? SSN only, that means partial dependency. So SSN determine something is different from SSN plus the project number. Okay, so this is the main difference. SSN determine something. Project number determine something. SSN plus P name determine something. They are different. For example, this is a for what? Employee information. This is a for what? Project information. This is a for what? Hours information. How many hours do you work? Okay? It's just three meanings are there. So we can say this is not in the second normal form. So second normal form check whether this is a full or a partial dependency. If you can find the partial dependency, that's the problem. So what will be the solution? Separation. We can segment. How many? Uh, but based on what? How can you separate? How can you segment by what? Number of meaning, number of functional dependency, especially minimal functional dependency. That's the reason we found minimal functional dependency first. So, 
how many minim, uh, minimal functional? From now on, when I'm saying the functional dependency, that means minimal functional dependency. Prime attribute determine non-prime attribute. So in this case, uh, how many of them? Three. FD1 is the social security number plus and P number determine hours. FD2, SSN determine E name. It's employee information. P number determine P name plus P location. It's a one location. P location. So it's a third meaning. So how can we make the second normal form? Segmentation. We can make the three tables. The EP1, EP2, EP3. So this is the employee information. This is the uh, this is the employee information. This is a uh, hours work work on information. This is a uh, project information. Then finally, this is the second normal form. Okay. In case of second normal form, it's automatically first normal form. Okay. Question. I have a design table like this one. One primary key. One primary key. Okay, one attribute primary key, single prime attribute, like the EP2, EP3. Is it the second normal form or not? So always yes, why? You cannot make it partial. It's always a whole key. Because of that, a lot of students, either not students, a lot of the designer use something ID. Do you remember the I suggest to use the this surrogate key, artificial key, sequence number instead of the something composite. If you are using this one, it hide partial key dependency. So you should be careful when you determine, when you decide to use the surrogate key, sequence key, something ID. Mostly it works, but if you have partial dependency inside, you cannot find partial dependency. So you need to always check the partial, this is also key, okay? Prime attribute, you need to check the second normal form. We will see the such an example uh, later. So, by the way, single prime attribute, single primary key, automatically, Second normal form. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, third one. Third one means no transitive. Okay, so let's take a look at the example of this. So, SSN determine what? E name, B day, address, D number. However, actually, SSN, D name, there is no relationship. Okay, however, D number determine D name. D number determine D manager social security number using transitive A determine B, B determine C. Eventually, SSN determine D name, D manager social security number. Okay? So, don't get confused. In this the design, the B, in this design, D number is not prime attribute. Okay? It's not prime attribute. It's a non prime attribute. But because of a depend, a transitive dependency. So, which means there exists redundant information. So, this is not, this is in second normal form, but not in third normal form. How can we make the third normal form solution? Segment. Segmentation. We can separate this one and this one. It's an error. SSN determine in it. Okay? Then, E number determine this one. Question, is it first normal form? Yes. yes, because it's a third. Is it second normal form? Yes, yes because it's a the third normal form. So, in your final exam, if I ask the third normal form, so I, when I grade, usually I check the last one. So I ask the first normal form, second normal form, third normal form. If you correct the third normal form, it's mostly automatically correct the first and second, which means you should be careful from the first one. Yes? D number is the primary key of this one. However, the D number in the, the P, EMP on that DPT, can D number determine B day? You cannot. Because of that, it's not primary key. Right? 
in a transitive functional dependency, what if the one of the attribute is primary key in the transition? We will see such an example. Okay, that is closer. That makes the that's a good question. That makes the problem of the PCNA. That's also transitive, but the, according to the transitive, it's not transitive because it's a prime part of prime attribute. Her question is: so if the D number determine part of the prime attribute, that's also looks like the transitive, but according to the transitive, it's not transitive. Okay? Because transitive means through the transition, it may be new one, but it's not new one. It's uh, the original one. So it's not transitive, but uh, somebody consider regard such a thing as the transitive. We will see in the next one, near soon. So I'm going to summarize the first, second, third normal form within 10 seconds. The first normal form? Attribute, single attribute. Second normal form? Whole key. Whole key. So in case of a single prime, the attribute automatically. The third one, no transitive. Okay. So but so far it's uh, okay. It's not very complicated. So it's a one page summary of that. The next one is uh, oh, let's take a look at the this example first. First, lot. What is a prime attribute? First, property ID number. Plus, candidate key is also key, right? What is a candidate key? Primary key and candidate key are the almost the same. They are the same level, but this one is selected, okay? So that's the only difference. So, candidate key also key. Don't forget the, to check the all the candidate key. So, country name plus lot number is the prime attribute. Okay, so then, the A, lot, is it the first normal form? Or not? First normal form? Yes. You can check the attribute by attribute. Whole attribute, single, so no problem. Second normal form, is it second normal form or not? First, you need to identify functional dependency. How many functional dependency here? Sometimes it's given, okay? It's not clear, then sometimes we did. I gave what the unit to find in real project. So, first functional dependency, property ID determine the other. Second functional dependency, country name plus lot number. That makes sense because it's a candidate key. Determine property ID, area, price, tax rate. Third one is country name determine tax rate. That makes sense. Like the, each country has their own the tax bracket, tax rate. One more thing is area determine price. So this is kind of the lot management. So something the eastern area has the something price. And western area has the different price. So area has determined price. This is the functional dependency at that time. So is it the second normal form or not? Whole key dependency. You need to check the. So, first, FD1, whole key dependency. FD2, it's a whole key dependency. Because the all attribute de depends on the property ID and country name and the lot number. Problem is, uh, FD4, area determine price. However, Area is not prime attribute because it's not primary key, it's not the candidate key, which means it's not problem of the second normal form. Okay, because it's uh, the left hand side is not the uh, uh, key. So it's okay, FD4 is okay. Problem is FD3. FD3, if you take a look at FD3, tax rate is determined by only country name, not RAM number. It's a partial dependency. So you need to check the candidate key also. So it's not the second normal form. Solution? Separate the dead functional dependency, FD3. Country name determine tax rate. Primary key is the country name, and this is the 
Okay, for the, let's take a look at this. Lot number determined by either area determined by country name plus lot number determined by property ID. Price is determined by this one and this. So whole key dependency. Price is determined by area, but area is not prime attribute. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so this is a second normal form. Next. This is third normal, uh, the here. This one is a third normal form, why not? There is no problem of the lot two because there is no other the, uh, the functional dependency. This one, yeah. area. area. They determine area, area determine price. Right? So, which means this is a transitive. So, in third normal form, it's not allowed. So, solution? We can take out the area determined price, like the area determined price. So we can finally have the lot 1A, this one, lot 1B, this one, and also lot 2, this one. Three segmented set table. So we have the three segmented table, so this is the third normal form. Okay? Up to the third normal form, it's not very difficult. You can just follow the step by step. Only the redundancy. What kind of redundancy? Attribute level, whole key, then transitive. So that's it. The next, BCNF. In case of BCNF, let's go back to the here. Actually, the formal, formal definition of the third normal form is like the, this one. The either when we determine x to y, x to determine a, the X determine one. X determine a. A is a super key. The either x is the super key of what? Which means it's a key. Okay, it includes a key. Or a is a prime attribute. A is a prime attribute means, like the, in this case, a b determine c, and c determine b. Right hand side is the prime attribute. What? Transitive means the transition to the new one. But if the new one is a prime attribute, it's actually original one, going back. There's no new one, no transition. Okay? So pointing each other. So it will, we will not consider that part, that functional dependency as the redundant. So it's okay, third normal form. But BCNF, they, the <coughs> policy and code, they realized even though it doesn't look like the transitive, it causes the redundant information. We will see the real example later, but the, before that, the example. One of the, we will add the functional dependency file over here. Area determine country name. And the area means Asia Pacific area. Okay, European area. Or the something, the Polynesian area. Determine country name. Okay. Then, is it the third normal form or not? Let's take a look at the area. Country name, land number, determine area. Okay? This is the most confused part. So, country name plus the Lot number, determine 